The best way to look for Comet Lovejoy is to find stars that you know, that you're already familiar with. Now in the northern part of the Australian sky we've got the constellation of Orion. That's very, very easy to pick out, very recognisable. People know the central part of the belt and the sword to be the saucepan. And just to the, the west and a little bit lower down you've got Taurus. Uh, we've got the Hades cluster in the middle and to the left down the bottom is Pleiades. Now the Japanese know that as Subaru. Pleiades is a very recognizable cluster. Some people call it Seven Sisters. Nice test for your eyesight as well just to see how many stars you can count uh, especially in dark sky locations. And just to the left up here is Lovejoy. Now I can just see it on the back of the camera here. What I'll try and do is uh, I'll lock everything down so the camera's no longer moving and uh, we'll see if we can take a long exposure of Lovejoy there and uh, you'll get to see it yourself. Now this is being shot from inside Wollongong with heavily light polluted skies uh, so you're not going to get that magnificent tail that everybody else is talking about. They're doing long exposures with really big telescopes or big cameras and uh, they have really dark sky locations. But uh, I'll take a, uh, a shot here right now and we'll see what we get. We should get this nice little aqua, aquamarine fuzzball. And this is only with a 50mm lens so it's nothing too special. Um, but we'll see how we go. We'll take a, say a, maybe between a 15 to 30 second shot. I'll have to adjust the ISO um, depending. Uh, we've got a little bit of tracking. Uh, I've got the camera set up on an ioptron mount. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's see how we go. Let's get this shot. You should be able to see that little fuzzball of Comet Lovejoy there, almost in the center of the frame, maybe a little bit off to the left. So I've just taken that photograph and I've realized that uh, Lovejoy is a little bit further down in the frame than I thought. And that's the, the good thing about digital cameras, uh, you're able to see what you've taken, uh, what photo you've taken on the back of the camera. So you can reframe, adjust the exposure for whatever you need. Um, so I'm going to reframe this shot a little bit. Still have the Pleiades in the shot. And get Lovejoy more in the uh, centre of the frame. Hopefully I've got it this time. Very faint to see on the back of the camera when you're looking through live view. But uh, I can definitely see the Pleiades there and Aldebrand and the Hades cluster, the rest of Taurus. And uh, let's let's take this shot, see if we've got it in the center of the frame this time. <laughs> 